Hey there, Nas with an updated video to my favorite chapter 14 and endgame farming spot. I discovered this location after going around and completing a bunch of side quests and I noticed that one of the challenges had a bunch of enemies weak to the fire element. And of course, I decided to min-max it and here are my results. You'll be getting 4664 experience and 55 AP per run. If you're doing this on hard mode, you'll be getting a whopping 9,328 experience and 165 AP, all under a minute and 30 seconds. Here's what we'll need to get started. Cloud should be equipped with the Mithril Saber. Purchase as many magic attack power nodes as you can. The magic 20% boost because we'll be at full MP every time we get into battle, so you get full value out of this node. And as many materia slots as you can. Next, we'll want Barret to either have the Gatling Gun or the EH Key Cannon. The main reason for his weapon choice is for the unique overcharge damage boost node. Buy as many attack power nodes and materia slots. As for Tifa, she doesn't need anything specific for her weapons because she'll just be our material pack mule. We'll want to just put a bunch of material that we want to level up on her. So just buy as many materia slots as you can for whichever weapon you have at the moment. For gear, you'll want whichever has the most materia slots for Cloud, Barret, and Tifa. The stats don't matter on the gear since the enemy dies before they know what hits them. I ended up using the Platinum Earrings to get the most magic on Cloud I could possibly get. As for materia, the higher level yours is, the faster this will go for you. First off, we'll need a Fire Materia. Fire level 2 will carry you through most of this grind, but it's recommended to have a Fire level 3 to Fire Aga, the last pack. Magnify is a must as it'll help spread the wildfire to all enemies. Remember, I did say most of the enemies in this farming method are weak to fire. Next, we have ATB Stagger. A level 2 is recommended as it'll help you burn down the enemies in the last wave as you'll need to cast two fire agas. This farm wouldn't exist if it wasn't for first strike. You'll want to level 2 at bare minimum to get this run going as fast as possible. Optional materials are Magic Up, since you may have lower stats than me, and it'll help boost your Magic Up quite a bit. I use a Luck Materia to help get some random crits, but it isn't needed, and you could replace this with a leveling materia of your choice. Now that we have everything we need, let's head over to Corneo's Coliseum and get started. You'll want to pick 3 person team versus Shinrei Warriors on easy mode. The difficulty doesn't affect your rewards, but how long it takes to finish the fights. We are trying to farm as much as possible, and normal mode will just slow us down. As you saw, a simple Fyra was all you need to kill that pact. As for the second pact, it's sometimes annoying because they move out of range, so I just use a Fyra, swap to Barret, and use Overcharge, and he kills whichever one was left alive. This pack usually dies in a simple Fyra, but if you want, if you have lower stats, a Fire Aga will take a little longer to cast, but you'll get the guaranteed kill. With this wave, I found it was very easy to do a Fyra and lock onto one of the robots in the back and do another Fyra and it kills both of them. Sometimes you kill three, but you still have one left alive, so it's better to just do two Fyras and get it over with. As for the last wave, they'll need two Fire Agas and some luck that they don't go too far from each other. You ideally want them to get splash damage by the first Fire Aga, so one of them gets staggered, so you get enough ATB to do a second Fire Aga and kill both of them. Okay, well that's it guys, that was the run. I hope you enjoyed the new improved farming spot that I found. If you did, please leave a like and to subscribe for future videos. Until then, I'll see you later.